Welcome back. In today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to remove a forgotten password pane or pattern on your Samsung Galaxy A05s. So we have a phone here that we cannot remember the pattern or password or pin. And the only way to remove it is to reset your phone. So you're gonna have to hard reset and that will wipe away all your user data, including that forgotten password pin or pattern. The only thing that's not going to get deleted is the Google account that's on this phone. So once you perform a hard reset, when you're setting up your phone again uh, afresh, you're, going, you're still going to need the Google account credentials for the Google account that was on this phone before the hard reset. Then once you provide that, then you can be able to either change the Google account and continue to get into your phone. So it's going to be a slightly long process, but just bear with me. I'm just gonna take you step by step, okay? So let's start by going into recovery mode because in recovery mode is the only way we can hard reset this phone. So what you want to do is take the USB cable that comes in the box of your phone, connect one end into the phone and the other end into a computer. Now I do have a computer here with a cable connected on this other side. And with that connection ready, now I can put my phone in recovery mode. So what you want to do is force shut down this phone. And to do that, we're going to have to long press the power button and volume down. And as soon as the phone goes off, we're going to boot in recovery mode. So let go of the volume down button, press and hold the volume up while still holding the power button and that should boot the phone in recovery mode. Of course, once it's connected via a cable, that's going to happen, okay? So let's go ahead and do this, okay? So power volume down, press and hold. Let's keep holding. Keep holding until the phone goes off. Keep holding. Phone goes off, so let's switch to volume up while still holding the power button. Samsung logo appears. You can now let go of the side button. Keep holding the volume up button. And that should boot the phone into recovery mode. There you go. So now that you are inside recovery mode, you can scroll using the volume rockers and then select using the power button or the side key. So let's go ahead and scroll to wipe data slash factory reset. That's the hard reset option. And then use the power button to select that. And then it's going to give you a warning that this will wipe all user data and this cannot be undone. So once again, scroll down using the volume down button and then select using the power button to factory data reset. Now at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the progress. Wait until it says data wipe complete. And then now you can go ahead and reboot system now. So make sure Reboot system now is highlighted and then press the power button to select that. And that should restart your phone back to the initial setup screen. Of course, after having wiped away all your user data, except the Google account. So like I said, once the reset process is complete, it will take you back to the setup screen. So let's go ahead and set up the phone afresh. So tap on start and then go to the end user license agreement and privacy policy. Tap on agree. It might ask you to set up using another device. I'm just going to skip that for now because I want to set this up independently. Now it says an unauthorized attempt has been made to reset your device to factory default settings connect to a Wi-Fi or mobile network to verify your identity. So tap OK and then connect to Wi-Fi. If you have SIM cards inside, then you can use mobile data, no problem. So put in your Wi-Fi password and connect. And then continue by tapping on Next.
So at some point, like I said, you're going to get to this point. So it's going to ask for your phone's password, pin or pattern. But remember, we forgot that. And that's why we had to do a hard reset. So what you want to do is select use my Google account instead. Okay, so tap on that link that says use my Google account instead. And that's going to take you to this page where you're going to have to sign in with the Google account that was originally on this phone. So let's go ahead and do that. So enter the Gmail address and then tap on next to enter the password. And then tap on next once again. You might need to verify that. And then once you verify, now you'll have the option to either use a new Google account or add previous account. Now, a new, use a new Google account basically lets you uh, select a different Google account from the one that was originally on the phone. Now, choosing add previous account basically means you're continuing with your old Google account. So I'll select that because I want to continue with my Google account. And that's going to allow me to continue with the setup process. Now, as I'm setting up the phone, I'll be able to either uh, set up a brand new password, pin or pattern. Now on this page, just select don't copy for now. And this account has been added. I'll just tap on next. If I had a backup, I would restore it, but Sometimes restoring is not the best option because it may ask you for the password you had when you are backing up. So let's go ahead and tap on don't restore. Then you have your Google services, which you have to accept. And then you'll be offered the option to set up a brand new pin, password or pattern which of course you can also skip and do it later. So I'll just tap on skip. Then you have your normal Google Assistant stuff during the setup process. It's basically a normal setup process. So let me just uh, quickly go through it. And when you finish, you'll get back into your phone, okay? So we've successfully removed the Google account. I mean, we've successfully removed the password pin or pattern that was locking you out of your Samsung Galaxy A05s. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.